All right, how's it going, guys? Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, module 3.2, day two, writing quadratic functions, and we're going to figure out how to write a quadratic function in vertex form using just the axis symmetry and two points. Okay? So, uh, what's important to know is that the axis of symmetry is the h value. The axis of symmetry tells you what h equals. Since it's a vertical line that will go through the vertex, right? If, you're, if your parabola right here, the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that goes through your vertex, so it gives you your h value, okay? And what we also have is two different points, so what we can do is we can go ahead and write uh, a uh, quadratic equation in vertex form of everything we have, so f of x equals some a value, which we don't know, multiplied by x minus 4, squared plus some k value, which we do not know. So let's go ahead and plug in each point. Let's start with 3, 5, since so that's what they give us first. 5 equals a multiplied by 3 minus 4 squared plus k. 5 equals a. 3 minus 4 is negative 1 squared plus k. We can go ahead and simplify it one more time. 5 equals a, negative 1 squared is just 1, so it's a plus k. So that's one equation that we've done. Let's go ahead and plug in 7, 12 now. So we get 12 equals a multiplied by x, which we're saying is 7 minus 4 squared plus k. 12 equals a, 7 minus 4 is 3 squared plus k. 12 equals 3 squared is 9, 9a plus k. So these are our two equations that we've, two quadratic equations that we've done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take both equations and we're going to create a system of, equ a system of equations with them to figure out our a and k value. So we have 5 equals a plus k and we have 12 equals 9a plus k. And from here, there's two ways to solve system of equations. You can do substitution, where you set the whole equation equal to one variable and plug into the other equation. Or we can do elimination, uh, where you add both equations. Are you, both, you manipulate one of the equations and then add them together to eliminate one of the variables. Uh, when I see two equations like this, I see one variable has the same coefficient. Like with k, they both have a coefficient of 1. Uh, I think elimination will always be easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides of the bottom equation by negative 1. And you can multiply either one by negative 1. It doesn't really matter. But I wrote the second one on the bottom, so I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite the first equation. 5 equals k plus k. And distribute this negative 1. So negative 12 equals, and distribute that negative 1 on the right side as well. So negative 9a minus k. And then we can go ahead and add both equations up. So 5 plus negative 12 is negative 7. That's going to equal a plus negative 9a, which gives us negative 8a. And k plus negative k equals 0k. So it just goes away and cancels out, right? So we have negative 7 equals negative 8a. Let's solve for a. We're going to divide by negative 8 on both sides. And we get 7 divided by 8 equals a. Right? So, we have one, uh, uh, one variable that we're looking for. So what we can do with this, we can plug it back into one of the first two equations, of one of these two over here, the 5 equals a plus k, or then the 12 equals uh, 9a plus k, whichever. Uh, we can put it into, I'm going to plug it into 5 equals a plus k, since it's, uh, simpler, it's a simpler equation, it'll be easier to figure out, okay? So we get 5 equals 7 all over 8, plus k, and then the minus 7 over 8 on both sides, minus 7 over 8, so we get 5 minus 7 all over 8 equals k, right? 7, minus, seven over 8 divided minus 7 over 8 is 0, uh, so we're left with k on the right side, and 5 minus 7 over 8 on the left side. So uh, to, to minus 5 and 7 over 8, remember we have to have uh, the denominator to be the same on both numbers. So what I'm going to do is put 5 over 1, and I'm going to multiply it with 8 over 8, 
which I can do since 8 over 8 is just 1, so multiplying by 1 does not change the value of the equation. But what I do get is I get 40 all over 8 minus 7 over 8, and that's going to give us 33 all over 8, which is our k value. So now we have our k value and we have our a value. We can go ahead and put this into the equation. So our equation now is f of x equals our a value of 7 all over 8 multiplied by x minus, uh, I believe it was 4. Yes, minus 4 squared plus our k value, which we said is 33 all over 8. So this is what our equation is going to be. And that is how we, we're going to figure out the uh, vertex form of a quadratic equation when we're not given the full vertex, we're just given the axis symmetry in two points. So let's go ahead and do one more problem. So the axis of symmetry, this time is x equals negative 5. So that tells me h equals negative 5. And we have two points, negative 10, 7, and 1, 9. And we're told it opens upwards. That means that h is going to be positive, right? So let's go ahead and make our general equation that we have right now. The f of x equals a multiplied by x minus negative 5 squared plus a k value, which we don't know. So let's go ahead and plug in both of our points. We have negative 10, 7 and 1, 9. Let's start with negative 10, 7. We get 7 equals a of negative 10 minus negative 5 is just plus 5 squared plus k. So we simplify a little bit. 7 equals a. Uh, negative 10 plus 5 is uh, negative 5. And a negative 5 squared is 5. Let me just rewrite that a to not look at 9. Uh, so negative 5 squared is just 25. So we get 25 on this side plus k. So uh, this one of our equations, 7 equals 25a plus k. Let's go ahead and plug in the other one, 1, 9. For that one, we get 9 equals a multiplied by uh, 1 plus 5 squared plus k. Uh, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 squared is 36. So we get 36a plus k. Right, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 squared is 36, so that's what the coefficient of a is going to be. So we have these two equations, 7 equals 25a plus k, and 9 equals 36a plus k as well. Uh, same thing, you can do substitution or elimination, either one will work, uh, but when you're left with coefficients, uh, two variables have the same coefficients in different equations, your best bet is going to do elimination since it just uh, saves you a lot of time. You just have to multiply the bottom one by negative 1 and add them together. So you get 7 equals 25a. We're just rewriting the equations. And the second one's going to be negative 9 equals, don't forget to put the parentheses, we were distributing that negative 1, uh, equals negative 36a minus k, like that. And we're going to add both equations up together now, right? So 7 plus negative 9 gives you negative 2. That's going to equal 25 plus negative 36. A gives you negative 11A. And K plus negative K gives you a 0K. And that just cancels out. So we're going to solve for A. So divide by negative 11 on both sides to get A by itself to isolate it. And negative 2 divided by negative 11 is just 2 over 11. The negatives cancel. And that uh, equals a. So we have our a value now. So what we want to do is we want to plug this into uh, one of the other equations, and we're going to solve for k. Okay. So we have this a value here. I'm going to put it into the seven equals twenty-five a. Uh, so you substitute the a for two over eleven plus k. I'm going to put it into this equation, and I get seven equals twenty-five times two is fifty. Remember with fractions, you just multiply across. So 25 over 1 multiplied by 2 over 11 is going to be 50 over 11 plus k. And then we're going to minus the 50 over 11 over. So you get 7 minus 50 all over 11 equals k. Right? So same thing as before. We need the 7 to have uh, the same denominator as a 50 over 11. So I'm going to put it over 1 and then multiply it with... 11 multiplied by 11. So I get 77 divided by, 
uh, 11 so 7 and you can see that 77 divided by 11 is still 7 the value of 7 and the first equation 77 over 11 is still the same it should not change and we're going to minus 50 over 11 with that that gives us 27 over 11 which is our k value so once we have our k value and our a value what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put it into the equation so we end up getting f of x equals our a value of 2 over 11 multiplied by x plus 5 squared uh, plus our k value which we find out is 27 over 11 and that is what our uh, general equation is going to be and that's how you want to solve equations like this or problems like this when we're asking you to find the vertex form of a quadratic function when you're just given the x act, uh, the, the uh, axis of symmetry and two points. All right. So we actually have one more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one as well. And that's this is just going to be the homework. So axis of symmetry is x equals two. So that means our h equals two, and we have two points, and we're told it opens upward. So that means a is going to be positive, or a is greater than zero. So just like before, let's go ahead and set up our equation with everything we know. F of x equals some a, which we don't know x minus 2 squared plus some k, right? So let's go ahead and plug in each point. We have the point negative 3, 0. So you have 0 equals a multiplied by negative 3 minus 2 squared plus some k value. Uh, let's go ahead and solve it out. 0 equals a. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25 plus k. So that's one equation that we have. And then for the other equation, we're going to plug in 0, negative 21. So we have negative 21 equals some a value, which we don't know, multiplied by 0 minus uh, 2 squared. And we're going to add k to it, which we do not know yet, right? So let's go ahead and solve it out. Negative 21 equals a. Uh, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 plus our k value here. So this is our other equations. Go ahead and put them on top of each other so we can uh, add or subtract them or substitute if you want to do that instead. So we have 0 equals 25a plus k. And we're going to put negative 21 equals 4a plus k. Right? Uh, same thing. You could do substitution if you want to. Uh, but in this form, it's just much, much easier to do elimination. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the bottom one into all negatives. So I'm going to multiply the bottom with negative 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite the equations. 0 equals 25a plus k. And the bottom one becomes positive 21 equals negative 21 or sorry, negative 4, negative 4a minus k. And we're going to add them up and see what we get. 0 plus 21 is just 21. That equals 25 plus negative 4 is also 21. So we have 21a, and the k's cancel, so we get plus 0 multiplied by k. The k's uh, cancel and they go away. So let's go ahead and solve for a. Divide by 21 on each side, and we get 1 equals a. That's our a value right there. So we're going to take it, and we're going to go ahead and plug into one of the equations. I'm going to go with the first one because I like doing the zeros. It makes my life much, much easier. So 0 equals 25 multiplied by some 1 plus k. So we minus the 25 over, right? Minus 25 on both sides. And we get negative 25 equals our k. Plug that into the equation, and we get f of x equals 1a. Our a is 1, so just 1 multiplied by x, uh, I believe it's minus 2. Let me double check. Yes, x minus 2 squared minus 25. And that is what our equation is going to be as an ugly 25. Let me rewrite it. And that is what our equation is going to be. And that's how you want to solve um, 
a quadratic function. I forgot the equation of a quadratic function in vertex form uh, when you have the axis of symmetry and two points only. Uh, 